you strong. Hi guys, welcome back to the Crafty Donut Girl. And in today's video, we're going to be building another modern house. As you can see here, we have our past two modern houses. And in today's video, we're going to be building another one. So let's get let's get started with the video. You're going to be needing oak wood planks, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz slab, spruce planks, glass pane, and an oak door. So first, we're going to start with our oak wood planks, and we're going to count out one, two, three, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, so 14, and then you're going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and you're going to kind of just go ahead and make a 14 by 18 plot like this here. And build that up by one, two, three more blocks. From here you're going to take your smooth quartz block and you're going to put a layer of smooth quartz block all the way over your structure here. this here. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and place in our doors. And we're going to place it from the corner here, we're going to place it one block in. Like that. And we're going to fill in this entire area with some spruce wood planks. Like this here.
And now that I know how far back our house goes, we are actually gonna start, I'm gonna start destroying this entire grass floor and placing it in with some spruce. And we're actually gonna build a little bit of a room here. Maybe about that big or so. And we're just gonna kind of put the walls on here like this. gonna be like a downstairs bedroom uh, or even a kitchen too something like this here go ahead and start adding in our windows too. So we're going to put some individual windows in here like that and then we're going to go Two, two by one, two windows, if that makes any sense. Just to kind of start help lighting it up in here. For any of you that are wondering, I am playing on Bedrock. Java, for me, Java is just a little bit too hard to play on, so that's the only reason why I play on Bedrock. For any of you guys that are wondering, and now that we have our floor in, we can go ahead and put our doors in, and we're actually, and now we're going to take our oak wood planks again. And we're gonna build the second story. Like this here. Same thing, we're just gonna build it up one, two, three blocks. So it's gonna be four blocks total. Once you guys have that done, you can actually go ahead and take your smooth quartz slabs and start putting on the roof for the second floor. 
like this here. If you guys are liking the video so far, make sure to hit the bells, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn it gray, and make sure that you hit those bell notifications so that way you don't miss out on a brand new episode of the Crafty Donut Girl. And comment down below you, what you guys want to what you guys want to see me build next. I love the ideas and suggestions too. From there, we're going to go ahead and place in our oak doors and some more of our slabs. this is actually going to be part of our balcony and then we can go ahead and make a staircase after we finish building our room downstairs here all right now from here we're actually gonna grab our smooth quartz stairs like that i'm just gonna go ahead and place these in We can actually even build this all the way to the wall here. completely messed that up there. Our stairs should have actually gone over here and I'm so sorry about that guys. can even make a kind of weird funky looking window.
So now you can actually get up and down the stairs um, without having to go up to the balcony. And we can actually go ahead and just place in some glass panes here to help keep from anybody falling down the stairs. And now from here, we can actually go ahead and build our bed. So we're not going to need any of this anymore, except for the smooth quartz slab. And you guys can go ahead and choose any bed you want. I'm just choosing the white bed because it is a very simple and modern design. I'm going to go ahead and build it right about here. And the only reason why I left this space is because I'm going to be using bookshelf and some barrels, paintings, a flower pot, and a blue orchid for my backboard here. this here and then so that's going to be my backboard there and I can even go ahead and take my painting and make a little bit of a TV I've actually found out how to do a really cute TV frame and I'm actually going to show you guys how to do that uh, right now. Now you got like a cute TV and you can even put these down too. So you've got a cute TV, you've got something like this and then you've got a reading area or storage section or whatever you guys want this to be over here. And that's really it for the upstairs. You can even add some lounge chairs out here. I also forgot to add windows in. That's silly me. I always forget where I place my paintings. It is like I have no idea how I forget where I place my paintings but I do. And it gets really frustrating sometimes. All right, that works. But you can place a window right about here, here. Maybe something along these lines here. Oh, 
Or you can even make a two by two windows like that there. And then you can add in some lounge chairs, which is just some stairs and then a slab. With some side tables, which is basically just a stained glass and or a piece of, it's just a glass pane and a carpet on top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a carpet design out on the patio here. Like this. That's all, all you really need to do for the patio. You can even add some decoration out here just by adding like a few flower pots and some and some flowers or you can even add trees. But that's basically all I'm gonna do for the patio and really the upstairs too. And the last thing before we do the downstairs is I'm just going to go through placing slabs above and on the quartz, the smooth quartz. like this here. Just to give it like a nice design. That's all we're going to do for the out outside design. And now time for the inside. Once more, you're going to need your smooth quartz stairs, some furnaces or blast furnaces. I prefer to use furnaces because I know I can smell I can actually smelt stuff out of it, a cauldron, a water bucket, and a tripwire hook. This is just to make our kitchen over here. go through and you can add lights to the bottom of your stairs or underneath your countertops like that with some barrels as cabinets like that here And then we can go ahead and start decorating our downstairs bedroom, starting with some lighting.
and this time we're actually going to be using some smooth quartz stairs and a bed. You guys can go ahead and place down your bed. Make that there. With some bookshelves. this here and that's all we're gonna do for the downstairs and this is the full tour this is the full finished house I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time on the Crafty Donut Girl. Bye!